What can I do for you? I'm interested in what you told me of yourself and your studies. If you have time, I'd like to hear more. You continue to surprise me. All right, let us talk. Preferably somewhere more interesting than this. Why here? Haven is familiar. It will always be important to you. We talked about that already. I sat beside you while you slept, studying the anchor. How long can it take to look at a mark on my hand? A magical mark of unknown origin? Tied to a unique breach in the veil? Longer than you might think. I ran every test I could imagine. Searched the Fade, yet found nothing. Cassandra suspected duplicity. She threatened to have me executed as an apostate if I didn't produce results. Cassandra's like that with everyone. <laughs> yes. You were never going to wake up? How could you? Mortals sent physically through the Fade. I was frustrated, frightened. The spirits I might have consulted had been driven away by the Breach. Although I wished to help, I had no faith in Cassandra, or she in me. I was ready to flee. The Breach threatened the whole world. Where did you plan to go? Some place far away, where I might research a way to repair the Breach before its effects reached me. I never said it was a good plan. I told myself, one more attempt to seal the rifts. I tried and failed. No ordinary magic would affect them. I watched the rifts expand and grow, resigned myself to flee, and then... It seems you hold the key to our salvation. You had sealed it with a gesture. And right then, I felt the whole world change. Felt the whole world change? A figure of speech. I'm aware of the metaphor. I'm more interested in felt. You change everything. Sweet talker. We shouldn't. It isn't right. Not even here. What do you mean, even here? Where do you think we were? This isn't real. That's a matter of debate. Probably best discussed after you wake up. 